This is absolutely the future. This facility is called the Oregon Clean Energy Center, located in Oregon, Ohio, which is right to the east of Toledo. It uh, generates roughly about 870 megawatts using uh, natural gas produced in the United States. Um, can come anywhere from the Marcellus to the Utica Shale, um, but we generate electricity burning natural gas in a gas turbine. We take the exhaust of that gas turbine, which is very hot, and we capture that heat in a heat recovery steam generator. Most people call that a boiler or a big radiator. Um, that steam is then used to drive a steam turbine, so it increases the efficiency of the facility to uh, over 60 percent. Whereas in the old conventional world when, when you ran just a straight boiler with oil or coal in just a, one steam turbine, you were lucky to get 30, 33, 35 percent was great. We're efficient thermodynamically, so that heat rate is efficient. We're efficient in our physical footprint. This is a 30-acre site putting out as much power as a, as a small nuclear or a mid-sized nuclear unit. Or, or a very large, a very significantly large coal facility. There's no big coal yard, there's no rail yard, there's no dumper trains, there's none of that. From, from our plant, it's very interesting because ac across the street to the north, we have the BP Husky refinery, which I'm told is, was started by Rockefeller as one of his original ones going back to Standard Oil of Ohio. Um, we have the Monroe power plant up in Michigan. You can see that from here. That's a, a big, large coal facility. We have the, the Bayshore facility of First Energy, which has uh, got one unit operating and was the, you know, the technology of the 50s and 60s, and they were the newest and best thing. And then to the east, you can see the Davis Bessie nuclear facility. That was a good technology, but it, it's a very expensive technology to run in today's market. And so we're the next iteration of technology. We run with a, a very small staff, much of the plant is automated. Um, and that doesn't mean we don't look at it or monitor it. It's just that we computers have, have made it so much easier. We monitor over 6,000 points of information in the facility. Many of those points connect to automatic controls and safety devices. So anything be amiss, the unit can safely shut itself down and then be restarted. This plant can start up and shut down. It can raise and lower load. So as renewables, as wind, as other technologies, maybe that we haven't even thought of yet, come in, in the, the low pro profile we have now changes, this plant will be able to react to it, to be complementary, and not have to run at full load all the time and not be able to cycle down, when frankly there's not power needed. As we say in the power business, if the weather's nice, the power prices aren't so good. You know, if it's nice outside, then people are, aren't running air conditioning, aren't running heating, you know, and that's a, that's a business win. But this plant is flexible and it can react to market signals and, and almost instantaneously.